Hello people! I'm very excited today because we are making our second tutorial on the effects I made on the Adobe Make the Cut Contest submission. Today we're going to take a look at those overlays effects and how to use blend modes within Premiere Pro. And a very interesting about those blend modes is that they work exactly the same in every Adobe software. So uh, let's stop talking and uh, let's dive in. So here we are in Premiere Pro again with uh, our friend Pierre Jean. So first of all, what are blending modes? So you can find them in the effect control panel under opacity blending modes. And you have all those effects, all those options you can select. So as you can see, they are set up as categories. So first you have the subtractive category that is mixing colors like you would mix painting colors. So, that, so all the colors are going to be darkened. Then you have the lighting category where colors are going to be mixed such as light. So things, uh, so colors are going to be lightened up. And then you have the complex category that is actually mixing colors and luminosity in a different uh, kind of way. And then you have the difference in HSL that I will let you discover what they do because it's can, it can be very um, experimental actually. <laughs> So I am going to show you those different effects with a black and white gradient so that we are putting on top and we're going to select that gradient and change its blend mode. Subtractive, multiply, color dodge and all that stuff and then you have lighten, lighten screen, color, uh, density color minus and then you have those in, um, those complex category where you, as you can see as light and dark are going to blend in together and then you have the difference which is very very weird and the HSL so let's get back on make the on uh, the Adobe make the cut contest and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how I made that uh, effect where those two faces blends in together so we have this first clip of Dolph's face and then the second clip of Dan's face uh, which is actually very dark and bright depending on the strobe. So I'm going to put this clip on top of the other and I'm going to change its blend mode to something that is going to show light and delete and uh, or put as transparent every dark information. So I'm going for the, the additive category so screen looks good and that's it another way you can use those blending modes is with ambient lights so here i have this warm ambient light as you can see it looks like we just had some flares on it and i want it on top of my video so i'm going to put um, let's put screen. I, I oftenly work with screen because it's actually very um, efficient in uh, video. And it actually has that kind of Instagram look. And you can even use it as a transition. There we have the whole, well, most of the image is white. I'm going to get this clip out and uh, let's uh, get to some Adobe Make the Cut thing. And there you go. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you now understand how blend modes work in uh, Premiere Pro and every Adobe software. Now it's your turn to play. So go ahead, blend stuff together, whether it's photo, videos, uh, Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, it doesn't matter. Just have fun with it. And send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I would be very glad to see what you did with it. Next time, we'll take a look at those triangles effect, what you can do with it, with how to make them in Premiere Pro. And uh, since then, stay creative and see you next time.